Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, we're gonna tie up uh, another caddis pattern today, uh, which is the X caddis. Um, and this thing is is an amazing fly. Um, I I don't know if I've caught more. I probably caught more fish on this one than I have um, with just a regular elk hair caddis. Uh, I don't know if it's the it's got a little bit of a different profile because it doesn't have all the hackle and it rides a little bit differently on the water. So maybe that's why, but I don't know why, I don't know exactly why, but it, it, it's, it's an awesome fly. Uh, we're tying this one on a, on a size 14, uh, TMC 100 hook, standard dry fly hook. Uh, I think you can probably fish this thing. I fished it down to a size 12 or a size 10 and caught fish. And, and then obviously you can fish it um, to some of the really smaller sizes too. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, this one is uh, going to be kind of grayish in color. And there's, it's such a simple fly to tie because there's really not much to it. Um, where did I put my scissors? There we go. Um, the tail of the fly is. Uh, going to use a lot of different stuff for this, but uh, I'm actually going to use a bit of Pearl Flash. Um, can use Zelon. Uh, I'll tie some in natural colors uh, where the tail is uh, something natural, or you can tie it with every once in a while. I'll tie up a few that have a little bit of a flashier tail. And we're going to bring that up. that up to about two-thirds the length of the hook. We'll work our way back and we're gonna dub the body and again with uh, dry flies because we want this thing to float fairly well. Uh, we want to make sure that the dubbing is uh, this fly is dubbed really well so pull all those individual little fibers out. Make sure they wrap nice and tightly around the, around the thread. And don't go too fast. You end up with big clumps of dubbing, which is not good for helping this fly float. We'll start to, start to build up our body and we want this to have a slight taper to it. Grab a little bit more. And we're going to try to get up to just about, about the two thirds, two thirds spot. And uh, now we're going to tie in our wing. So I can grab a little clump of, decent sized clump of elk hair. Also, identical wing as a regular elk hair caddis. Pull out all the under fur and all the long, super long hairs. Put that in our stack. And we should have a good stacked set of hair. About the length of the length of the hook, not back to the tail, but the length of the hook. And give that handful of wraps to lock that in. There we go. Trim that up a little bit. All right. 
bit finished in there. There we go. And you can trim the trim the tail as long as you want it to be. This is, I guess, kind of represents the the chuck of the the bug as it's as it's climbing out. Um, so I'm just gonna trim that just a little bit shorter. And there we go. That is our X caddis. It's <laughs> there's not much to it, uh, but it is it is such an awesome such an awesome fly. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and good luck out there. Thanks.